I did have a guy come to me once who successfully defended himself but was complaining because he'd got a graze on his head um, and all his shirt was ripped open and he looked a bit dishevelled. That's real life, isn't it? That's real fighting. I have very rarely got into a fight where I didn't come out of it looking a bit dishevelled. Um, if I got a clean knockout, that was great, it's clinical. But most of the time, if it ends up in grappling, you will come out looking dishevelled. I've broke fingers, I've broke kneecaps, um, you know, I've broke a lot of things fighting people on the floor. But I don't care about that, because I walked away and they didn't. And that's all that's important. Once it becomes a grapple, you can dominate people if you know what you're doing and destroy them and hurt them and all the rest of it. But the chances of coming out of it clean are, are minimal. But I wouldn't worry about that kind of thing. Same as when people say, I punched him or don't punch them because you might break your hands. I'm not, I don't really care about that. You know, we're talking about self-defense, you know, potentially life or death. I'm not bothered about breaking a finger or breaking my nose or, you know, grazing my head. I don't give a monkey's fuck about that. As long as I come away clean, I don't even want to be there unless I'm absolutely forced into it. And it's the same with, as I've said on all the takes, if you can avoid, escape, use verbal dissuasion, um, loophole, posture, do anything you can but to avoid a physical response. Potentially, you could die or you could kill somebody. So you mustn't fight unless you really have to.